Shouting "I want a day off!" more than 1,000 migrant workers and activists took to the streets in Taipei in early December. They urged the government to require employers to give foreign domestic workers and caregivers at least one day off a week. I have many friends who don't have a day off. If you have a day off, you don't have a day off. If you have a day off, you don't have a day off. If you have a day off, you don't have a day off. Nearly half of Taiwan's close to 190,000 foreign domestic workers and caregivers do not get even one day off a year, and only a small percentage get one day off a week, according to activists. Earlier this year, the government drafted the Domestic Workers Protection Act, which migrant workers had hoped would protect them. But they and activists say it's a big disappointment because it does not require employers to give workers time off. Although the act stipulates that workers should be granted at least one day off a week, it allows employers to ask workers to continue to work in emergency situations or with their consent. Afraid of losing their jobs, many workers find it hard to refuse their bosses. Even though the law requires employers to pay the workers additional wages or give them additional days off after work, many workers still prefer to have time off, as most people would. The law also fails to cap daily working hours. Many workers work an average of 13 hours a day, and their employers withheld their documents and passports. Migrant workers in Taiwan come from Indonesia, the Philippines, Vietnam, and Thailand. Most don't care to resist because they need to keep their job to pay off the large amount of money they borrowed to pay brokers to help them find jobs in Taiwan and get here. To highlight their plight, they held banners and signs that read, "We want our day off. Domestic work is work, and equality is for everyone." Hands in red gloves poking through the banner symbolized the workers' wish for fair compensation for their blood and sweat work. Many local Taiwanese, including college students, came out to support them. This woman held a sign that had an X over the word "slavery." We think that the current policy is a form of exploitation, a form of exploiting their human rights. So we think that we should stand up together with them and help them fight back. Local students and activists also carried a large cloth that collected hundreds of palm prints from foreign workers to show their support. The protest has been held regularly since 2003 to lobby the government to protect the rights of migrant and domestic workers. CNA, Taipei.